Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So this is the Philips 43 inch 4K Ambilight TV. So I've bought this to set up in my new studio here and I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of actually how it performs. So I'm going to be covering a few topics. One of them obviously will be the uh, video quality to see actually how good the picture is on the LED screen. The next one will also be the audio quality to see actually how the sound is on this TV. I'll also cover what ports come on the back of this and also a little bit about the remote control and I'll go through some of the settings as well. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you a demo of actually the thing you're actually probably looking forward to is actually the LED lights at the back of the TV, which make it an Ambilight TV. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so just starting off with the remote control. It's pretty standard. It feels very light, it's made of plastic takes two AA batteries and you can see that it comes with a dedicated Netflix button which is pretty cool and then you also have the very standard uh, control buttons for the videos which is the play, pause, fast forward, rewind and you can also record from the TV straight onto a USB recorder as well and then you can also go through various different apps that come on the TV using the smart TV button there as well. So pretty straightforward, that is the remote control. Okay so just covering the ports at the back, you've got the uh, power socket there on the left hand side of the TV. Moving on to the right hand side, here's some ports there right at the bottom, you've got the uh, digital audio out port there, you also have the first USB port just at the middle there, and you also have a network connection port in case you want to directly connect to the internet using an ethernet cable. You have a satellite and TV antenna ports there as well, and then you have your first two HDMI ports which obviously will be the key ones. You also have the uh, audio video ports just there as well in case you want to connect that up directly to any uh, relevant import source. And then moving along to the right hand side, you'll find the uh, second USB port there and the third HDMI port as well. And just along the bottom there, you can see there's a headphone port as well, in case you want to connect this to any external soundbar or speaker using an auxiliary cable. In terms of the LED lights, you can see that they are embedded within the TV, so there's no LED strip that has been stuck onto it. So they go all the way around the sides here, on the left and the right, and along the top. There's no lights along the bottom here, but you can uh, see at the end of this video how they actually perform. All right guys, so I've just set up the TV back there on my unit. So let's go ahead and have a look at the uh, Philips uh, light waves demo to see actually how the LED ambit light looks behind the TV. And also I'm gonna be using the sound output directly from the TV and try to hear out for the sound quality coming from the TV in addition to the actual video quality as well. So sit back and enjoy.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that demo guys. So in my opinion, the video quality is actually very good for an LED TV. It's not expensive as OLED or QLED TVs, but nonetheless, if you're in a small apartment or a studio, then it does an excellent job. Also, it depends on the lighting coming from the outside. So if you have sun shining through, then you'll have less reflection on uh, an LED TV rather than the uh, QLED or OLED ones. So for me, the quality is really good. There's some uh, adjustments you can make through the picture settings on the TV to actually bring out that HDR plus option in there. So that really gives you that vibrant and high dynamic range of colors on the TV as well. Now, speaking of colors, the Ambilight LEDs at the back of the TV, they just go really smoothly with the video and it just makes it a lot easier on your eyes. Gives you that cinematic look and cinematic feeling that you're being immersed in the videos as well. So for me, that's one of the really good things I really like about the Philips Ambilight options. It's hard to go back to a TV that doesn't have lights at the back of it once you've started using TVs like this. Even if you have just an LED strip that you've bought externally, put it behind the TV, it just changes your viewing experience. So I highly recommend that. I can't go back to watching a TV without any lighting behind it. So for me, that is a very good plus point. Now in terms of the pricing, the 43 inch TV comes in at around 329 pounds, which is actually a very good price. And um, you can get the up to 50, 55 inch ones for up to about 500 pounds. And even then it's a lot cheaper than some of the high end TVs out there like Samsung and so on. So for me, I would definitely recommend it. In terms of the audio, I actually was quite impressed. It wasn't the greatest audio, and usually I have soundbars and subwoofers set up with my TVs in general, but just the audio coming from directly inside the TV, I think it does a reasonably good job, especially since you're in a small studio or an apartment or a flat or anything like that, then you, it's more than enough. But nonetheless, I would definitely get an external speaker as well, something with inbuilt subwoofers, just to give you that real bass to match the ambient lights and that cinematic experience. So overall, I think this is probably maybe 8.5 out of 10 for me. I would um, definitely give the other points to having maybe a better quality screen, like an OLED one, and also a little bit more punchier sound and bass coming from the audio. So not the worst, but actually this is actually very good. And I would definitely recommend if you're on a budget to, to check this TV out. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully that was useful for you. If you have any other questions about this TV specifically, then do drop a comment below. Otherwise, I hope you subscribe, I hope you like this video, and I will catch you at the next one. Take care.